Hello, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers, bringing you news and information from people making a difference in our communities. I'm Beverly Weaver, and joining me now is Deborah Jordy, Executive Director of the Colorado Business Committee for the Arts. Welcome. Thanks for coming in, Deborah. Thank you for having me. Let's really begin with a big anniversary celebrating um, for the committee 25 years now. It's big. CBCA has been around in the Denver community for 25 years. We're a nonprofit organization that focuses on the link between the arts and business community. And we have to go back a few years uh, prior to CBCA's uh, development. In the 60s, David Rockefeller thought, thought there was really a need for corporate philanthropy in the arts. And he gathered a group of really serious, committed business leaders in the New York area to start the BCA. Mm. Well, then baby BCA sprung up all over the country, and CBCA was formed by a group of leading business people. Um, with the same mission to focus on arts philanthropy and support of the arts. Right. And in terms of a study that you've been doing, the Economic Activity Study of Metro Denver Culture for over 20 years, mm -hmm. Deborah, tell me what you're finding out of that study and really how you're kind of investigating the arts and, and the business world. Well, the, the business report, our study is so important right now because it's about the business of culture. We look at employment, we look at taxes, attendance. So it puts the arts in business terms for for the community. For an example, the arts right now employ almost 9,000 employees. We pay, the arts community pay in sales and seat and payroll taxes, $18 million. So that's a chunk of money going into the economy. There was new money that came in in terms of economic impact, which we analyze. This is money coming in from outside the metropolitan area mm -hmm. at a tune of $387 million. This is money that wouldn't have been brought into our economy without the arts community. And we're talking about large-scale arts efforts and, and small-scale. Right. This study looks at all the SCFD organizations. It's self-reported through the 300-ish nonprofits in the arts community. So it's everything from Su Teatro to the Denver Art Museum. And in terms of what you're seeing, um, just culturally, um, how is giving um, and also how is involvement in the arts right now? Certainly with the economy the way it is, a lot of people have cut back in different areas. What are you seeing on the ground? Given the recession, we've we had a couple surprises. We've seen attendance at cultural events down, which is kind of surprising. But in, in reality, not. People, I think, are much more cautious. They're looking for better deals. But we've seen volunteerism increase by 20%. Hmm. And the giving is also up. Tell giving is that. up, which is bucking national trends. Corporate philanthropy is down, which is no big surprise, and we hope to increase that. But individual giving is up. That is amazing. Why is it so significant to the community to really understand the arts culture, the arts community in, in Metro Denver and, and around the state? The arts are critical to the fabric of our community, but I think it's important for the larger community, the citizens, the elected officials, the business leaders, to know that the arts are a business and an industry, and they promote uh, culture, they promote uh, enhancement of our life, but they also have jobs and promote a business environment. And in terms of forecasting out, really what do you see coming down um, for the arts community in the next 10 years in Colorado? Certainly we're, we're being recognized in a lot of uh, venues. I think two things. We have a very strong nonprofit arts community, but also bundled with creative industries, the film industry, music industry, that we're going to continue to see grow. And I think people really believe in supporting the arts here. In terms of uh, 2011, Deborah, anything immediately down, down the pipe? I wish I had that crystal mm -hmm. ball. I think we're going to just look to make sure that things are flat to maybe a little bit better. And um, one thing we have here is a lot of collaboration, which helps really promote the arts. All right. Where can people go, Deborah, to get more information on the committee, on the study that you have done in particular, and um, investigate a little bit more about uh, your involvement in both worlds? CBCA website is www.cbca.org. All right. Very good. Congratulations on celebrating 25 years in Colorado, and uh, continued good luck to you. Thank you. All right. Deborah Jordy is Executive Director for the Colorado Business Committee for the Arts. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. And thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Beverly Weaver.